no, I don't know. Listen, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know. Again, if he was. Um, this is the they do like a long line on Monday. So I mean, Kevin's did that after uh, the. He always do, he demands any work he do. It's because Kevin's it's Monday after. Eh? We shug's been away in holiday, so I think they've got a bit of jet lag. Bit of catching so, up, did they? Uh, For him to you know, Andy hates the Kevin's chat. Oh, he hates it so much. Andy uh, Jim Layton. Jim Layton's a great show. How are you, Kevin? All right? I'm good, mate. I'm just uh, a wee bit disappointed this morning. Uh, Obviously, Andy. Are you back him? No, Andy organised us to get up early so we could help him to get on his B license. You're always up early. So he, ah. Well, listen to this. He was up early and he was thinking that the first thing he thought it was. Did you? Throwing a bit with her. <laughs> no, she just she was, she was awake. So something I liked it in the morning. She likes it at night. <laughs> what about you? Good weekend. This man set up a, a head tennis tournament Thursday night. I was so excited to get a wee bit in, in there. Or you were good. I know, but then I couldn't scam for about three goals 45 minutes after they started. <laughs> what so the squad of 30 players waiting in one court. and I'm talking pissioned and... It was Thursday. We had two and a half hours that night. Have you? Nah. I was convinced I had pneumonia Friday morning, mate. Fuck. I'm cold, I? Oh my God. I didn't take part of me, so I was standing in oh, a... You'd be standing watching. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Great sense, Paul. Brilliant, but Matt... So did you shout out to the winners? Uh, Cookie, Conroy and... Um, Dale. Who was it? Dale. Oh, always win head tennis, huh? I don't He's know who it is. Brock, James Grant, and who was it? Under the RT? Tierney. RT, yeah. RT, I, I, they were four up in the final, mate. Oh, First of five. five four. And they shot themselves. So you usually win by clear two because it was that exciting. I said, Somebody point, put a answer. goal in front of Brock, didn't they? And he fucking <laughs> went, man. <laughs> His leg top is jelly. It's rubbish with a game, though, isn't it? Nah, it's but right. You don't get the same, but see, when you, when you get a game at the weekend and you get a win or whatever, ah. you're buzzing the rest of the weekend for it. My boys got blasted, though, mate. What about that run at the end? <laughs> Ten lengths of the pitch. Ten? Uh, timed. You had to so meet every line. Where, where Alex, Alex done it in three minutes 30, I think. So it's a, it's a 1K. Think, uh, it should work out about 1K. 1K. Just I'm trying to think back to the day we used to do, like, obviously, touchline, touchline, back, and it would be standard 35 seconds. Would that be right for one? Touchline. So there, and back, back 35 seconds. Is that comfortable? Uh -huh, mate. Well, that works out about the same. Aye. Uh -huh. So you've got to do it in what, one minute what? Three minutes thirty, ten. Three minutes thirty. One, wow, two, that's three, good going, one, eh? uh, But even some of the boys who were struggling still there blasting through Your it, faces? wasn't it? Faces? Faces ahead. Okay, Trend well. Do it. Oh my God. Amazing for them. But big news as well, somebody completed the full session. And it yes. made, I'm talking it was a, one of the highest intensity sessions we've done. Amazing done the one. Even the, the, the ten runs. Never no, done the ten runs. No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair, because the session was a fucking doing when and we done runs in this in the session as well. How do you feel after it? When you get a wee bit sort of side it, but I think that's just normal, and right. I don't think that's it. And because if I do the next day, I felt good, good mate. mate. Good. What well, about probably. weekend? What did you do? My scooter gets stole for the sunbeds. <laughs> <laughs> Is it stole? Mm, so, so if somebody knows who, somebody knows I've got a scooter there. It's stole. So pals will know that somebody. Beat you in it. Put sunbed. Put sunbed. Well, I'd left it. I always leave it outside the door. I'm all in for. Well, it was the pubes lying about. There's a couple of curly ones that <laughs> left his mark, isn't he? <laughs> big man's left his mark. <laughs> you see the big man at a scooter. No, but I couldn't believe it. I came out of the hangs just getting somebody's walked away from it. I, uh, been, it's while I'm in the sunbed, do you know what I mean? So I couldn't even get it. So why did you, leave, did you just leave it sitting outside the sunbed shop? I it was tight in the sunbed shop, so I couldn't really put it in there. So I thought, I'll just leave it there. I need to go to a scooter. I've been only in for six minutes. Is it a key or is it a... Is it just no. a press a button start? Just press a button start. There's no way you've been daft enough to just leave a fucking I'd leave it everywhere. Nobody usually touches it. So it's gone? Somebody's just stole it. Yeah, that's it. Have you managed to go that now? Right, so we're going to be thinking getting a fine Paul Stain scooter. I'm going to put a picture up it today, aye. On Instagram? Aye. Uh -huh. Please return. Put on a wee like, picture on the lamp post. Missing. Missing your no scooter. Rubbish that, innit? That what about you? What did you do at the weekend? Oh, I just sat the morning football. Oh, you weren't happy with the boys? No, 9 or 10 was... Uh, oh, Tom, Tom started playing. 
I seen that well done, you Tom's uh, Tom's been with the 2017s last week. The manager promoted him straight to the 2016s. Played oh, yeah. Saturday, scored three. Wee man was brilliant, man. He just looks too weak to be playing football, but I think he'll be best at them all. I think so as well. Nine, 90 to 10 with him. Harry was 10 to 11 and 11 to 1 with the 12 to 1 there, boys, were. Right, I had a weekend off, mate. I had to fucking sit about waiting for him to finish 12 to 1. Oh, that's a lost time, isn't it? I know, but I had to because I had to fit in the other one. Also, boys. just looked after your own fucking Aye. family, right? Thanks for that, mate. Cheers, I have. Suppose if you were there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was taking another one, wasn't it? He was in fucking full kit with Charlie's team. How did they get on? 6-1, mate. They won? Mm -hmm. oh. Did they score? Set up two. Ah, good. So I went and watched the big man coach Friday, I said to you. Good. Brilliant. Charlie, good, aye. Uh, he was, he was I good. did say to Charlie that day, I remember coming and watch his training because it's always good to take ideas from other people. Oh, his stuff was basic. The like, stuff at the first was basic. Yeah. But then when he got into a kind of game-related shape, sort of... This I is thought what that would have been too young enough. Nah. Well, see if somebody was in mate, he'd stop it straight away. So it's good that I, I, think that, that I think at their age, you could properly coach them because the kids understand it. My age, I get frustrated with them because they kind of do 6v1 in a box. And I've got to remember, well, they're eight years old, but if they want to go into the academy, the academy boys are doing it. Uh -huh. So you have to set standards. He coaches with an accent, so do you know what I mean? Oh, does he? Changes his voice. Oh, I don't like that. Uh -huh. What kind of accent is it? Cam Quartz. Is it? Uh, big words? He is another big words. Uh -huh. What was the game you said? I've had a ball game. Uh, what was the game you said <laughs> that um, you went if you were free, free now down and he left the whole time they went for uh, That was last week. They were, he kept telling me how good their team was, not I went on watch for three down. He was on his head of sweating. No, to be fair, he left and he says to the boys, keep doing the same things, keep doing the same things. He fucked off, mate. The boys went. Oh, really well, Rossi, that team wouldn't have been beat for two years. Three up, he left, they went one, four, three, which is fucking running about anyway. Yes. <laughs> how would you be getting apart for that? Would you get a wee bit naughty at any times or anything? Uh, naughty Friday night, eh? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. yeah. On the sauce? Uh, mm. uh, no, sauce. Uh, what's the sauce Friday night? No, no, no. Saturday, Sunday. Oh, no, yeah. Saturday and then a wee bit Sunday. I'm glad that you need to have a drink, mate. Need it. My brother and that came through. Drink? Are you? No, I don't drink, no. No, wait, I'm saying what were you doing the weekend? Just sort of like my staff and that. What, the two of you? Aye. Doing my staff. Here, That's the problem. Business never being, sleeps, uh, doesn't it? Doesn't it? So why are you drinking all that? Don't worry. The youngest, youngest CEO and... <laughs> Double CEO. Double youngest CEO. Turn that, it? Do you got a LinkedIn? No, I don't need all that, fuck. Get people to get my team to do that for us. Right. So no, I had to work out a deal with all my staff and see how how they're getting on, check out their name. Um, a few bad things for them, so they're going to be back. What kind of boss are you? Demand, demanding? Aye, demanding. <laughs> Strict. One mistake, you're out. <laughs> Turns out to meet a scooter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, coaching badges, Gary McKay's. He's then he's, he's trying to blue, blue Peter badge this week as well. <laughs> so good luck to be Gary. Well done, me Imagine man. him on his coaching badge. Check Mate, see, he'd want shin guards on, innit? Shin guards on, on shin guards. You can deal with that, the wee man, because that's proper intense. When you get put in the spot when you're waiting for everybody, innit? He'd crumble, wouldn't oh he? Oh my word. Uh, did, you enjoy, did, you, did you enjoy the coaching badges now? Nah. I did my bee license, I thought it was the biggest pain of shit ever. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Uh -huh. So what's Andy on? He's here, isn't he? He's here, he? he's here. 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 He's Seeing as there was no football this weekend, Simon Grosvenor Sport are offering something a bit different this week with a casino offer. Oof, did you ever go to the casino when you played? Nah, I loved the casino. Casino was good, wasn't it? Blackjack. I enjoyed a bit of that. Uh, roulette. Roulette. I like, yeah, it's been right mind it. <laughs> when, <laughs> when new sign ups bet £20 on their new. Paul, oh, come on. Do you used to get free toasties in the casino? No, you used to always go to a casino with the after night suit. And you get free drink in the casino. Free drink was amazing, free drink. wasn't it? Oh, yeah. And Danny McGrain used to always go there. Danny was always there. Can you believe the way I take casinos? When new sign up, just bet twenty. Fucking hell! This last line. Right here we go. When new sign ups bet twenty pound on their online casino, they'll get a fifty pound free bet to play with. Sign up at gsport.com forward slash open goal. Oh, yeah. Who was who? Who liked the casino on your team? I went to Dundee casino, and I was there to. The Dundee casino is the best. So see, after you've been in your night out, you go everywhere. And you sit and get a lunch, proper Mate, lunch. But you'd also have right good chance of making a bird as well. That's right, what you got to try and think about how the birds are good in the casino. It was, I remember I was early 7 in the morning one time. You, it's obviously left when the birds in. No, I didn't get any birds. A few toasties. Taking <laughs> 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 toasties with the birds. Taking <laughs> toasties with the birds. But uh, what about you, Sai? Do you like a bit of that, aye? Have you used to always go to the casino? Huh? I told you at the time your, your, your Yara set gave Cads a grand, didn't it? No. Uh -huh, you're right. We were all Christmas doing. Cads was just sitting watching. He was up, you already been at 10 quid a week. And your Yara set went, you're not playing. He's like, no, I have no money. And your Yara set was like, there's a grand, come play. I've not heard that. Uh -huh. 
That's I unbelievable. Actually, I remember in my early years of living in Glasgow, I met him in the casino. He had a second mate. Hero, he had a second mate. Was Sitting it? at a table. Not himself. a bead of sweat off him FaceTime at Celtic, mate. Right. Big right. man was so fucking. He's effective. I told you, he used to get the lift up for bottom floor up to first floor for lunch. Get the lift. <laughs> <laughs> fucking ten, 10 stairs to walk up, mate. Big man used to just get the lift up. Ah, what a hero he was. Why he's like, I remember he's like, why you run about all the Why you run all Is the it? time? <laughs> Oh, it's probably maybe a lot, Anna. What? Because the young boys are all fucking good. He'd been in Chelsea and that, do you know what I mean? He, Russian money, he must have been so... He was so good for Celtic, like, Kim. He was a great player. football player, mate. Player. Was he? He was a good great player. Great football player. Uh, uh, just never pushed himself by Gary, man. Relaxed. Very good. Uh, what a boy. Um, what won this week? Champions League? You just never came through at a Champions League club, did you? No. No. Yeah. <laughs> Were you the 20th man? <laughs> no, the 20th I mean, as a kid, you never came through at a Champions League club. No, no, no. So, when you were young, we used to get to do the... Aye, that's amazing, that with the banner. But you said this week when you're watching the game, you did, oh, the family got in dinner with your man's knicker. Fucking serious, there. No, did you, did you ever go when you were kids? We used to do that. See no, that? I, see the noise? <laughs> but was, what was the noise that was coming off your man's <laughs> <laughs> That's it, just that. Oh, wow, well, it could be the best I've heard. But I can just. Why did you hear that? Oh, oh, oh. I think Susie was 44 and she made a spare. I'm kidding. But she, she was in the knicker. Go for it. How do you stack on him? Oh, fucking <laughs> oh, hell, eh? It's lame. My brother's fucking woke up in Poland. <laughs> yeah, what? My brother's woke up in Poland. <laughs> He's woke up in Poland. I'll show you this. How? How? I think my phone is broken. Um, Smash your phone today, Tom. Oh, fuck. How? I don't know. He just turned up in Poland. We 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 were laughing. So he goes out with a Russian girl, doesn't he? He's, he's mad in love with a Russian uh, bird eye. Um, and he's put his wee, kind of wee thing to find him all day. Didn't know where he'd went to. And then sent a picture of him in a pod in Poland. He's <laughs> living one of the wee pods. I don't even know what it was. He's got a pod. He, he booked a, I think it's like 100 euro for a week. On his cell? He sells, mate. I don't know what's the deal. Fuck like can't sell cell, George. Uh, he's good on the He's a mad man, isn't he? Uh, he's in the fuck. He's not a what a boy, but he's, it's, so anyway, he's, he's stuck in Poland. Talk about brothers. My brother came through the weekend and his wife watched that documentary and she was pure like that to me. Was she? And I was like, why do you swear so much? <laughs> I didn't even realise, eh? No, but that's the, again, but I think if you're in, in football and you, you're in that. That's what I need to get across. That does happen in football a lot. And ah, people in dinner and all the time. And try to because she was like, oh, I really liked it. But I was like, that's swearing, man. Couldn't the boy every second word as fuck? Is she really nice? Like, he's, your brother misses eye, like. Is she what? Like, ah, she's like, really, really nice. nice. as in terms of. Like, maybe, polite. Aye, uh-huh. polite and aye. I think it was a bit of a shock to her. I know. You, you Documentary get, I hope, it's, major, I hope it's not a shock. I, I know. I hope that hasn't shocked people, mate. No, I think people will love that side that when swear you're in there, it's proper. You don't swear on the podcast, so uh-huh. you don't have a hell of a swear night with the football. So. Good, got the fear of um, it. Uh-huh. Uh, Tottenham, uh, Broomhill, next two games are Friday nights under the... No, oh, by the way, Disco lights as well. Have you seen this? I wanna go out every day, I wanna go This should be the biggest party ever. Amazing. Who's it to send you, Ralph? Hey, hey, Ralph. You got to see the Disco lights? Amazing. Unbelievable, mate. I couldn't believe it. Because so, what did Celtic spend about fucking 10 million on them? Something like that. Yeah. Surely Broadway's not done that. But it's, it's, it's unbelievable to go and see. What has the Broadway got to So that, because it's Friday night games, when we score now, the, the disco lights will... <coughs> what have we scored? A disco lights will go off when we score. Have no, you seen before, is it before the game as well? Ah, before, before the game. Because it goes... Have you seen it? it goes and what are you going to do? On, you're going to do something on the, pu- the pitch? I'll be Why waiting. don't we do your man's knickers? I will do that. But now let's go back on. <laughs> have you seen them? <laughs> <laughs> what are we ball boys, Frankie and Jake? <laughs> my, my boys are not coming down this Friday to help it. I'm no way they're touching so many jackets. If that's what's happening, I'd rather be a ball boy than the manager. That's what I was all fighting them. Coaching staff for what we ball boys. Uh, no, I, I, so before the game, but wait till you see it. This is outrageous. It, wait, the whole place just goes pitch black. Uh-huh. Can't see it in. And then all the lights just go. Bro, how come they've got that? Because the day they've had concerts in there. Aye, so it must so be something. probably from that. Aye, they've they had, they had, no, they they had, they had a big concert, I think, not so long ago. I'm pretty convinced, though, aye. Right. 
Never knew that. But um, never mind. Rora Rangers in their hearts be so two big games, sorry. Friday it's night. It's nobody's there on a Friday night. Uh, get to your, get to the pub and then get over to the listen, game. Third in the lower league. Bad here. Fifteen third. minutes in a taxi for you. If you bad, if you bad, you bad get, a pint, to, get a pint up and come on all. Come watch the third best team in the lower league at this point. If you watching, the, bro, it's no. You're gonna watch people kicking about the pitch either. Do you know what I mean? You're gonna watch. No, nah, well, Broader's third in the Highland League, so they're off. You'll be a good time and I'll be. Nah, they'll, they'll be tough, Broader. They'll be, be a good game. Tough. But uh, every game we've had has been so exciting. Like I'm not saying it's been an amazing no standard. No, no, that was maybe we got a win every game. Nah, they draws. There's so been no draws. What was East Kilbride? We got beat three two. Three two. Berwick won three two. Brora three two. Yeah. There's going. We need to fucking work on our defending. Fuck defending. We're attacking, man. We're attacking, mate. But get yourself out because it'll be unbelievable. Susie Slim will be there. Is she going to cut? That was my next question. Is she coming in? She will be there. Pants on her off. She won't have the pants on. They'll be on the pitch. She might be trying to go. She could even hot up back to get them back. But no, she'll be there sitting down supporting the boys. Probably. Kev, you come. Are you going to the game? Are you going to the game? No, I'm not. I'm not going to the game. 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 I'm not doing the commentary talking shit, uh, but no I enjoy it I must admit I enjoy it because Moz is good isn't he he's good Moz's, Moz's knowledge is very good of the uh-huh. league he knows everybody but no I enjoy it because like you say Simon it's no it's no fucking nil nils no it's like 2-1 3-1 4-2 so why were you not at Brora? I wasn't at Brora because I didn't play Brora I wasn't at Bonnes uh, sorry Bonnes uh, uh, because I had a family do that had already booked six months before all this kind of carry on started what was the family do? it was my brother-in-law's party so for what? Eighty thirty. Right. Okay. Where so is yeah, it? Don't know. Never seen any pictures of that up on Instagram. It was doing a strand raw, so it was organised months ago and I don't really go to Strand very often, so every now and then I, I go twice a year. One at Christmas and then one other. See Bibsy? Bibsy, no, Bibsy. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, Bibby's gone down. What about, Mr. What, what about Mr. Flower? Mr. Flower? We don't talk about Mr. Flower for a while. Have you seen him? Saw him? I, I saw him long ago up uh, Kelvin Grove, aye. Up Kelvin Grove? Triggy Flower, he's moved to Glasgow, aye. Take your father's move to Glasgow, mate. Move to Glasgow. Looks like Stanley, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> like a good looking boy, eh? A good looking boy. Red. Very red. So that was the reason why I was away. And uh, do you know I've I actually got another family do coming up, but I'm going to cancel that and go to the football. Oh, right? what a man. Okay. Do you know when I was watching that podcast, the club one? I was thinking if you put Brock's head on your body, you've got Louis Capal, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> That's shocking. <laughs> you did. I've not, I've not, I've not, I've not, I've not, I've not put on a wee bit of beef, but I've not got Lewis Capaldi beef yet. <laughs> would you sit, would you sit in your pants? Everywhere I go, I see that fucker sitting in his pants you've and I'm trying to my coffee, man. you go got to do that. Shall I come and sit in the pants when I do the aye, podcast? Be, uh, oh, you've told me for mate. years to do that. And sing, sing a Capaldi song. Aye. Grow your hair. Grow I'd love you to grow your hair long. My hair would love to grow its hair. <laughs> he's funny. Yeah, he's got Uh huh. We spoke to him. He's got. He, he says he's definitely going to come on. Is he? Really? So he says. He says he's going to come to a Brimhall game as well. Which to be fair, we, 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 did, we did fear for an album. The first one was amazing. He's no seen the first year. Drunk with him for the whole summer. Panicking me song right. I think that's the best. But he did not go under the radar after uh, you did. It's got to be songs, out all the time. His first songs come out. It's he's good. Uh, that. It's a big like hit. It. Uh-huh. It's a good one. Good. Right, we're on to football. Uh, right, co- chaotic 24 hours, Rangers win up Napoli. Napoli, I was going to call them it. Game being moved back 24 hours due to police resource limitations. No Napoli fans be allowed into the game as a result, which means there'll be also no Rangers fans allowed in the reverse fixture. A load of shite, innit? Oh, a load of shite. Rangers, Rangers fans have had an absolute shocker. Because they've obviously fault. booked hotels, booked, booked hotels, tickets. Booked flights, can they go? Napoli, Naples, what a place. I, I saw part of being in the Champions League. Like, oh, so and police resources, come on! I, I just I feel sorry for the Rangers fans. It's as if it's like you've waited all this time. What the ten year comeback from getting to the third division to Champions League, and you kind of go to Naples to support your team, and then obviously it's, it works the same way coming here, where the Naples fans kind of come into Ibrox. That's so do these sure. fans, do they get refunded for? I get probably refunded. I, I don't know. It'll take about fucking six months. What happened with the flights, but? Aye, because there'll be some of these No, people. you'll not get your hotel or that yeah, and you'll nah. some of these. You know, you know yourself when you book a holiday, you can book a holiday that costs this amount because that covers you for cancellation or you book a hotel for the, for a cheaper amount because there's no chance of a refund. There'll be a lot of guys and, and, and people out there that's maybe no going to get any refund at all. Mm-hmm. What about in terms of the performance? Do you think that'll affect the team's performance when the fans been there? I don't know. Me personally, I don't think it would. No, 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 no in terms of the numbers that you... What, what size are stadiums Napoli got? 
Uh, it's a big stadium, big old so stadium. Uh, Rangers are only going to have tens of thousands of fans here. It'll be like a few, few thousand, a few thousand, and uh, well, that noise making the difference. It's great to have some supporters there, but but the Napoli fans are wild anyway, aye. so you wouldn't hear you wouldn't hear opposition so fans. For me, it's um, it's disappointing, but listen, Rangers. Um, I, I don't know how you, I don't know how you compensate or how do you how do you help? Obviously, away from Ajax, you're now at home in Napoli, who have beat Liverpool, battered Liverpool. Do you eyebrows? Do you go and sit in, or do you go and take the game? I think you need to go and take the game, don't you? I think you take the game then because he back his Liverpool are open. I know, but mm. they, they exploit you there, but I know, but Liverpool. They were saying Liverpool defensively won the great Gomez. He's still chasing fucking <laughs> shadows. I don't know what was up with him, but Rangers. But when Liverpool attacked, there was plenty of space for Liverpool to get opportunities. I mean, even Liverpool scored a goal at four one. You felt, still thought that if he could get another mm-hmm. one, because I think somebody had a chance. Yeah. Straight after that, so there will be chances there for Rangers to have, but it's a big one for Rangers. 4 0 to Celtic, 4 0 to Ajax, and then they've got a home game against Naples. If they want to progress in the Champions League or even get to like finish third to, 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 to guarantee that Europa League, the home games is where you have to try and pick up points. One, you need to try and win, I think. You need to try and win your home games. Win the game, aye. But if you go and sit in, you didn't get that crowd behind you, then you no. end up the crowd no. maybe turning on you. So I think for the off, you, I think you just need to go for it. Mm-hmm. Especially home with the start. atmosphere as well. They'll get, they'll be a massive help. But Rangers, I don't think you, you'd be better off not even looking at that play, how they play. Because Rangers, if they play the way they play against Celtic or, um, or Ajax, they'll get beat. Mm-hmm. They'll need to change it. Right and, and the manager, by the way, and I, I missed this point out in the Coupe show, and it was bad for me. How ne- none of the players took responsibility, uh, took, um, what's the word, Sai? If you get beat and you play bad, what's the fucking word? What did they take? They none of them get the blame for that. And the reason I mean that is because 10 out of 11 VI has played again. How's that? See, see when I was at Celtic, right? Lennon told me on the first day, he said, you're going to play via Inverness, start him in the league on the first day. Right? He said, I'm going to start this at On the Friday, I trained and I had a shocker and didn't play. How can you play against your biggest rivals, we Celtic, and put a performance in like that, and then you start against Ajax Champions League? Yeah, that's not right. For me, you've got guys like Ryan Jack on the bench. And you said that, uh, Steve Davis, Arfield, that in the McGregor, did I think so. But none of the players get hold responsible for that, and I, I, that's the bit I don't understand. You, you, I, prefer, I don't, I don't care about the scoreline, v Celtic. I loved it, but by the way, but I don't mean that. I'm meaning for a point of your performance. Mm. You, the performance the players put in was uh, was a disgrace. And then two days later, they'd be playing against Ajax. So whose fault is that? Is that the players' fault or is that Van Bronckhorst well, playing got, them again? I think it's the manager's fault because they got the exact same fucking performance. The only player that, that came out was Steve Davis. I don't think that would have been maybe his age. The manager maybe doesn't like to play two. I don't know. But <clears> held accountable. Is that what you were? Was that accountable? I don't know. He don't know. Just can't. Isn't it? Aye. We should say it early on. No, I can see what you're th- Do you know what I mean? How can none of the players get held? Re- are you are you with me here with that? But what I would also say is that you didn't get to see what Van Bronckers gets to see, so you didn't see how these guys are training. Then, the, so the guys that might be sitting on the bench for a reason. I, I get, I know, I get I what you're saying. He's watching them be watching them be Celtic, Celtic, Celtic yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and players on the closing down. Players on the running. He's given them another opportunity against Ajax, right? And it's backfired again. If he gives those same players another opportunity against Naples, Napoli. Then you've got to be questioning. If they get a result, then great. If they don't get a result, then they've got to start questioning the manager. I think two games, you wouldn't lose. I think you're hoping for, I think he's hoping hoping that that these, these players are going to give him a reaction. Aye. That's what I would, and would he, imagine. He didn't get a reaction, so I would, I would like to think against Napoli and Wednesday night, you will see Jack, two I or feel. three changes. Hayley. Aye, because Aye. they have to. But Rangers, listen, if two defeats, when was the last time they lost two defeats consecutively? You think you go a, a, a good mm-hmm. a while back at the calendar? So if it becomes three, it's not a crisis. It's two of these games are Champions League games. Mm. What you've got to look at is are players given enough for the manager? Mm. I think against Celtic. Well, you look at the distances where we're, uh-huh. we're running against Ajax. Aye. That's not acceptable. No, that's not acceptable. You can like we always say you can accept mistakes, but you can't be accept being out. The minimum in any game you play in, you've got to work as hard as you possibly can because yeah. sometimes things won't go your way but see if you're working hard things may change but for me you know, Rangers, were, Rangers were really really disappointed against Ajax I thought there would have been a better showing they would have liked a league game in between wouldn't they instead of just getting yeah. a cut the training sessions and... we need to get that boy one don't we <laughs> you don't yeah, take yeah, McCarthy Okay. Who are you doing? Just just can we actually sit here with McCarthy <laughs> I mean, what a laugh it would be you just keep trying to get 
The answer to be a couple of training sessions, didn't you? Every question would be as get to say. click on. I don't know what five you've done it, boy. Fucking 100%. Ah, you can face the cast, Mark. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We'll get him on because he's not obviously. He's not Great boy. Plenty of shit, is he? So we'll get him on. Um, so, in terms of personnel, I think Rangers' biggest problem is the centre back position next to Goldson. See, when you think of the year with Gerard, they had settled back four, they had they conceded. Yeah. Um, this year, in and out, players in and out conceding goals for fun. Aye. I think they need to get a left centre back in. It's a, I don't think James Sands is. He's no. done all right, to be fair. We'll see teams that concede less, which is, again, totally against Broom Hill, but can concede the least goals, will usually win the league. Yep, and Rangers right. look like they're shipping goals left, right, and centre. So, who, who, so at this moment of time, you've got Tav, Goldson, um, Sands, Sands Barisic. Barisic. No, good enough that. Not aggressive enough. Who, who, who could be the who who could they swap in to swap out? I know oh, yeah, I mean, you've got Davis in it, but I don't know what's the situation with Ben Davis. I thought he'd be the perfect type. So why is what why is Ben Davis no? Why is I don't he, know if it's injuries or personal. Personal, I understand, but um Barisic is already cover at left back for Barisic could come in. The, the Turkish boy. You'd be better just putting him in because Barisic doesn't want to stop shots, he doesn't want to do it. Doesn't want to defend. See the, no. see the, the deflection, the deflected goal VIX. He's still back half and he's getting goal. Yeah, at man. one stage he's got to say I'm going to go to that ball do you know what I mean yeah he can't just keep going back but again know? is that worrying signs because obviously Van Gogh has seen someone in training with Yilmaz that he's not ready to, yeah. to play ahead of, of Barisic I think then I, you're going to spend 5 million quid on him I think I read a start that of all the Rangers money they spent during the, the window not one of them was in the squad or, or played in the bit or was on the bench for the game against Celtic or something I'm like or, 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 some, or some kind of they were all injured I think it was against Ajax and you think, so if you brought in all this £10 million worth of players and none of them are ready or, or ready to play now, it's worrying. Mm. Transfer window shut mm-hmm. you now, looking at trying to get loans in. Well, we looked at, there's still a lot of free transfers who Aye, are they, decent quality. Well, Fabian Delph, would he, would he do Rangers? Don't mind, because I talked about it. At left back, there you go. Could play, go and play he left back, he can play centre midfield, and he fill a couple of positions. He he cut, he cut, fill a couple of <laughs> positions. A couple of, a couple of no, he would be good. Aye, they need to get. But they're needing, like you say, they're needing a the left side of the half. Yeah, hundred percent. They need to get. They need to get a stable back to. And but especially brand. because your full backs bomb on so much. Sands is a cheat to be fair to Sands. So he's actually been one that you went. He's actually done quite well Aye. here. That being said, obviously the, the score lines. It's hard to see a defender's done well, but it'd be, it's more worrying with certain. I think he's, he looks like a midfield player to me than he does a centre back. Aye. They're not going to change the goalkeeper situation because that's evident having not. How can that know? We didn't change the goalkeeper. I think McGregor will be in goals this Wednesday. Do you think so? Oh, he's got it. I think he will. I think he maybe makes a difference to the back 100% four. 100% in terms everything. of everything. organisation. We've, we've been on our goalie for ages. You need, you need, to, you need to be vocal. Eh? Right. I, again, I, you're only here for the TV, but John McGowan doesn't look like the type of me that's constantly on at defenders. No. Yep. Again, I could be wrong because right. I, I didn't get. But to, McGregor's the, the complete goals. opposite side. He is that. He's demanding of them. Uh, all so the time so where you need to be it might just be the difference change a goalkeeper might just give the back four a wee bit more confidence uh-huh. uh, right so how will the line up what, what do you think back score, five. Was, the back four will probably play itself it'll be Tav they'll need to stick with that Goulson, same back four yeah. or do they put Yelmaz in well who knows um, Barisic then you would go midfield you, you would have Kent on the left you'll have would you put right no, not, put for me. no. not for me Tillman the ba- M- M- Sondo looks like he's got M- Sondo's got pace yeah, yeah. that was evident in the pre-season games but we've not seen they get Morelos in and all hey, I would go back with uh, Morelos as well I'd put Morelos in I'd definitely put Morelos Cholach is 28 I thought he must have been young when he first came here who Morelos no Cholach Cholach would there be a case he's played that three isn't he is there a case of going three five two and going Cholach and Morelos up front together potentially aye mm-hmm. Drop, mm-hmm. Right, and maybe so. going with three centre backs because you're conceding so many goals so drop one uh, strip back in there give that extra bit of so what physicality you're saying, the three at the back as in Goldson, Tav and Barisic no Goldson, Lundstrom and Sands oh, three, and okay. you've got Barisic, Tav and then you've uh-huh. got your Jack, Davis Kamara middle of the pitch and you're but that then could it's, be a it's Kent it's where you, where you put Kent in the 3-5-2 okay. even if you played Kent off a Kolach give him a bit nah, of a bit of stability at the back I don't well think I don't I think that could be the exact same that, team. That, 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 in theory, I think sounds good, looks good. But for me, would Tavernier and Barisic, if they're playing higher up, do they give you enough coming back the way? Well, they, so, they might be when they need to, though, Kev. Because got, Sands, is, got, Sands is the type that can maybe go and cover that area, and then Jack right. does it really well for the centre of the pitch. So if they go high, Jack just shuffles across into that sort of area. I'm just trying to think that if if, they were, if, if Naples pinned them, if Napoli pinned them in, I keep saying Naples, if Napoli pinned them in, then nipples, you keep saying that. Behind nipples. 
They keep it, they find but yeah, again, Rangers are attacking. Just when no, this game get them out. If Rangers were attacking, then it gives them good attacking options. It was obviously Barisic with how he crossed the ball and then playing with two up front, Morelos, Cholak. Cholak caused a bit of havoc, maybe in air. Things might break for Morelos, but I think I think you need to bring Morelos in. I think that would give the team a boost. I think both of them are penalty box strikers, oh, okay, didn't it? And that sort of gives you more... Yeah. Um, advantage of getting more crosses into the box because they're only embarrassing and higher up the pitch listen at the end of the day what we're talking about is Van Bronckhurst has got options it's what options he decides to go with and how he thinks so he needs to change something he needs to change something uh -huh. because for me see what you're I, saying about Kent is, he, is Kent is Kent still a, a must for Rangers no I don't think he's numbers I don't think he's numbers or his performances he'd be a, a, a guaranteed starter he doesn't score enough goals um, assists I've not been, for me, he, there's something lacking there. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's the system Rangers play or whether he's lacking in Collins himself. But he, he's got the potential to be a game changer. But we're not seeing that. Mm -hmm. That's what we said to him. He's got the potential. To Aye. Can he keep, can he keep can saying he potential? Years, yeah. For years. I, I think, I, I think, I think it's a, a, a brunt play to watch right a day, but recently his performances have never been up there and I, I'll not change what I'm saying at Celtic Rangers you can't be like that one or two games then you came out of your not playing well and he's yeah. not done that the last few weeks so but yeah. then who comes in though mm -hmm. well uh, you could maybe go to a 3-5-2 ah, you could maybe change it because right? he is always probably the reason why he didn't go to a, a 2 up front because where do you put Kent, Kent? Uh, I think Kent might actually, actually be better than our central anyway uh, he's, done, he's played that he's played he that in a few times has not he but uh, Napoli, Napoli have obviously they're sitting beat Liverpool top of the, their group or top of the league after six games and Are they, hey? Aye, 14 points, so... Italian expert? No. Gaze of Italian. No, I couldn't do Italian. Ah, you could. But, uh, you no, couldn't. Shows your nipples in. Italian accent or shows your nipples? <laughs> yeah, how, would you play, how would you play against the nipples? <laughs> you need to be rough for them, wouldn't you? You yeah. need... Let's just move on, quickly. Have you been to Italy? Been to Italy, huh? Lake Garda? Yes. Have you? Uh -huh. Is that amazing? Amazing. We met Rude Van Easteroy there. The canny was raging that we were all paying him so much attention. Was he? Uh, That's probably very much. Uh, jealous, mate. It is a great country. Uh, I like Arda, I love him. So was that pre-season? Milan as well. Uh, pre-season, I think. Wow. What were you? Just, uh, I, went, I went pre-season a couple of times. Went to uh, my mate, Fishton Rall, has got a wee place. Mr. Flores? No, Romano Petucci. Italian dude. Oh, wow. Uh, he's got a wee place in... Glamour uh, didn't stand up. He's got a wee place down in Via Regio. So when we played... When we were Some names people, kept from out here. When we were in Hearts, we used to go to a place called Edel Choco. And then it's only uh, oh, it's, actually, it's only uh, a wee fifteen minute drive to Via Regio, so we went down and uh, he you know Ali, me you? I you know Ali, boy. Nice. Listen, my, my, my oldest son Max is Max. Known as Italian. She's from Treviso up in the north. <laughs> so uh, travel show with Kevin Kyle. <laughs> one of his nipples uh, at Choco, eh? Yeah. And Choco, Choco McClare. <laughs> Chocolate, he's coming on at me. Chocolate, mate. Do you know what's funny? You say you met Van Nistelrooy. Right? I met Tommy Johnson last year. He was a kit man in an English club. Actually, right. not scary. Aye, what a guy. Aye. Tommy Johnson's a good guy. He's going to come on here a couple of times. How do you go for Tommy Johnson to Van Nistelrooy? <laughs> well, it was similar pre season. I met him in there. I was, I was younger, but he was, he was there. Right? He's going to be a good laugh as well, Tommy Johnson. Has he? Uh -huh. Is that, is that you? Nah, I was just because you said Van Nistelrooy. Oh, okay. Was uh, that guard a lovely though before you go in? <laughs> Was it actually? I've told you three times. Actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> went to another like went somewhere else like Garda. There's another like Como, Como as well. That's maybe unreal or not. Went there was a couple of times. Was Stratton big on that, wasn't he? Exactly. <laughs> well, see, was it Stratton's not big on any. Five foot fucking war. Certainly, <laughs> chap was like, fuck's sake. Uh, it's received a lot of plaudits. Uh, they're away to Warsaw this week to play Shakhtar. I don't know if that result might people might think Shakhtar better than what they are. Right. Because Leipzig just sacked the manager of the morning right after the game. They've brought a new manager. They brought in the boy Faye Dortmund. Aye, the boy for last season. Faye Dortmund. So, obviously, um, Leipzig weren't have they been playing well for sacked the manager. Mm. So, that almost looks like a tight he was going to go. Um, and that was his last performance, obviously getting beat 4-1. Um, against Leipzig, all they did was keep on hitting the counter and hitting the counter the whole game. Who did sacked him? Aye, just counter attack the whole time. So, which will be... That's Celtic, no? I don't know. No, because no, you're looking at the opposite of Real Madrid right, against uh, Celtic. Hit the counter that. Team. Um, so that, that is your worry. But the only thing is, Shakhtar might have many of the ball. So they might... They, you can't count if you've got the ball up and you're off. Do you know what I mean? Right, uh, well, I, I, I'm going to go against you. I think Celtic will have more possession than Shakhtar. Do you? 
Celtic obviously in the past have not been great away from home in Europe, so this is a big opportunity with this new team and the way Ange plays, they could go over there and probably dictate the game. Mm. Well, think of them when they went to Betis though, was it Betis last year? Aye. They were fucking brilliant for, for, for the first six minutes. Well, don't they? Uh-huh. Listen, and that was what a depleted team. The, if they dominate are, the ball. If, if they're going to have the ball, which I'm sure they will do, they have to when they get the opportunities, they're going to have to take them because they can't do what they did against Madrid and no tape. You only get one or two good opportunities. And if you don't take me, you get punished. Had Celtic went one nil up, possibly with we, we Mida, puts a different light in the game. Me, I think personally, but Celtic's performance the other week against Real Madrid was nothing short of incredible. I thought they were amazing. First, mm. first thirty minutes. First was, half, they probably oh, won it. I think Celtic go over here and win. Mm-hmm. Do you think? Do you think on the basis of watching the first game and? Leipzig and Shakhtar, do you think Celtic's got a realistic chance of getting into this group? 100%. Yeah. I think the only decision for Ange now going into this game is who plays in his front three. Because mm. Kyogo will be back. I think Mida will be back in there. Mida will be back. Ab- Ab- Abada, what's his name? I always get Abada. 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 Abada will come out, I think. Mm. I think Mida will come out, especially if you're home as well. Uh-huh. Jota over at the right. Yep. Yeah. No, I think so. Jota left. Mida right. I think so, right? I think they're bringing Mida. Uh, I think Mida will play. I think so. I think That's so. the only decision. Is it? There's no other decisions you would, no. you, you, you would take. Maybe well, Kyogo or, Kyogo or Jackie Marcus? Aye. Kyogo got a day for me. Same. All day. How about you, Kevin? See, Kyogo or Jackie Marcus? I like, I, like, I like Kyogo starting because obviously he, 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 he does a lot of running in behind. Mm. And then to bring in an option of Jackie Marcus late on in the game when... Teams are tired. Teams are tired. You've got maybe that physical presence as well because I know he's, he's not a target man. He's miles a bit away from being a target man but... He doesn't have to put himself a bit. Mm. Gets his self muscled in, gets it back in, gets the ball into his feet, lays it off, then moves again. He's got good movement for a big guy, and like I say, he's, he's one touch finishing's pretty something else. So, no, I think it's a bit, it's a big game, but it's a game that Celtic shouldn't fear. Where do you uh, keep your tools in your shred? Thank you, dear. Shred, aye. That was a good one for you. <laughs> He's just thinking that one, isn't he? The tools in your shred. him coming back and I know, I going on the Champions League stage? Is that one missed for Celtic, Jake? Rogers just ruled him out straight away though, didn't he? Aye. I think he did, he was like, I don't know. After, 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 after a couple of training sessions. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that for anybody when a player comes in, but listen. Like but fade the clips that you seen his red when he first came, you thought, yeah, boy's going to be a fucking player, yeah. mate. Aye. He, he scored an absolute belt at the and on. I think it was the Champions League qualifiers or the Europa League qualifiers, something like that, I don't know. But he was, uh, he, oh, he, he, how many players have came, I mean, even like Salah at Chelsea. Uh, Do you know what I mean? Yeah, what yeah, players yeah. when they're younger don't Disney look the bet when they come on and play lots of games then they become a different player. So no, Celtic will need to be get their eyes on him and horns on him or not. <laughs> <laughs> but he got bombed for the first team, didn't he? He was then one of the ones with Tom Boyd. Oh was it Tom? It was Tommy Sheridan go. Tommy Sheridan go and <laughs> Can he get banned, can't you know? <laughs> <laughs> they get back, boy, these Puma King. <laughs> have you ever had a teammate that have came back to haunt you when they played against you? Like they've left and you've had to come back oh and play? Oh, God. Oh, I'm trying to think. We, um, we had, I think I have told you, but it was like right ages ago, we had a boy, uh, oh, yeah, that was him that shouted at me and uh, and on a post shape for not telling him he had time. Told you that, innit? <laughs> Paul came up and he fucked out the pitch. And he's like, maybe you tell me I have time and I'm like, it's, it's on a post shape. It's not Dave fucking Martin, of course you've got to tell me so. The carrier was sent him on to Stevenage, who were in our league. And usually a manager gets it in that you can't play against your team. So we come to play Stevenage and he's like, Lads, I insist that Oliver Risa plays against us. I want him to play. So this is his team talk before the game. So Oliver Risa is on loan at Stevenage against us and his full team talk is like, Lads, we cannot lose to a team with Oliver Risa in it. <laughs> Mate. <laughs> You signed him, he's played him in fucking 50 games for us and now he's telling us that we can't lose a game with him, that. I was dropped for the first fucking three months <laughs> of the season <laughs> and now he's still... Oh, oh that is my mate. He was... Went out 1-5-1 one, one, mate. Oh, so his team talk worked a belt on, man. Oh. Who is it? Who, who is it? <laughs> he's kidding him, man. He was his captain. Boy, he went to carry on first game and he was the captain and now he's sitting at Stephen and he's like, oh, we cannot lose that team with this guy, innit? <laughs> You know him, my lad, you've seen him. Ferguson loved like, that. Barry Ferguson loved that one. I know, your whole team top was on one uh, player. individual players for our team and stuff. Like, ah, boys, you can't beat me and all that. And then next week, later, the boys come and say, I've got the sign. That's the wrong way, man. I just wanted to see what the boy was like. Um, you'll know what you're going to get through him. He's unpredictable as fuck. I'm probably not saying. Any UK now? Nah. I, I, I had a think about this last night, and I, I don't think I ever played against like a team that first we let, somebody we let go come back and played against us. Nah. nah. I'm trying to think of other players though, and it's happened really bad. 
Remember uh, Adi Bayo? Aye, he came back and scored. Maybe up. Aye, went on. Talked to me last one. Aye, off. Nah, I can't think of anybody. That race really one was funny. I had an absolute shock in his own man. No, I never. We played well at the five hundred. Battered them. Oh yeah. And that, that's right. weird, though, isn't it? Why he's he's done that, but <laughs> and it was his captain. He's insisted that he played in the game. That's probably it. He's a genius, mate. Is that what you normally have? If you go alone, you're not allowed to play. No, you know, but no. he he was he wanted in the contact that he could play. Oh fuck God! Was Risa playing the game? He played that. Huh? Was he shite? Yeah, he fucked one. That must be so weird when he was getting on the ball. <laughs> I think he was fucking giving him a bit on the side as well. Uh, but he was only alone, so he was coming back to us. So he's obviously got pals in the dressing room. What's about that? Back. He's that absolutely fucking kicked you before the game. Right, looks like Liam Frox is the front runner. Done United, right choice. I don't know anything about him, to be fair. I really don't he know. He's been there a while, hasn't he? I, I don't know, and I've not really. I'm not sure. I, I, again, I'd have written, went for McInnes if you had the budget and McInnes was up for doing it, then I'd have tried to get him. But I don't know, maybe if he's been there, maybe it's. He knows the club, I don't know. It might depend on. Uh, results. I don't. I, I don't think they'll rush into it. Maybe if he gets a I good cut of results, good cut of results, he'll get. get results it. here and there. It'll be good. I don't think that he. Oh, you're back doing accents now, yeah? No, eh? no, 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 no. I'm just having a little look at this. Right. I, I gave just, you for that. I just think that uh, I don't know if Liam Fox is the right man for the job. Based on what? Oh. Based on the fact that. Um, I don't really know to be honest. I just, I just think that the D United, there's rumours of them that they were trying to get, they were trying to get big dunk. I have seen that. Approach, I think so for that. me, if you're in the media looking at somebody like Duncan Ferguson, who obviously hasn't managed apart from like Everton, his his managerial career still in its early days as well. If you're trying to willing to go and try and speak to somebody of that stature, then surely your expectations of somebody of yeah. that ilk. So why would Liam Fox all of a sudden become into the equation? That's how I see it. If you're trying to get a Duncan Ferguson, and then they oh, we'll go for Liam, Liam Fox. Fox uh -huh. To me, there's two. I don't think Dunya fans would be happy if I think they if it's to get of Liam Fox. No, for me, Liam Fox. If I think if I, 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 I could be miles wrong. I apologise if, if I am. I'm pretty sure he was at Hearts as a coach. Yes, and get loaned it to be the manager of Cowden and Beef. Correct. Didn't quite work out at Cowden Beath, so got sent back to Hearts and Gary Locke had to come and take over Cowden Beath and keep them up. So for me, looking at that, that's how I I'm and I'm being realistic about it, I'm just gonna be honest about it, that's how I see it. So I, do I think Lean Fox has in that time from leaving Cowden Beath to, to it was a long time ago, it is, maybe. a long time ago to now, great that he's in a position where he's been the assistant manager to whoever it was, um, to, to the guys in the D United and now being talked about. I think he'd, he would have been assistant to um, Tam Courts. Kurtz, uh, Tam Kurtz, Tam was. Kurtz, and then uh, he's obviously inherited the role when Jack Ross has come in. Yeah. Now he's in a good Ta position because he knows the players. What knows position, the doggy? But is he the right man? I don't think the D United fans would be happy with Liam Fox. Tam there. Kurtz is turning it around to Van Hungary. Is he? Start, he's picked up a couple of no wins. Daft, that boy, is no it? daft. He knows what he's doing. No, exactly what he's doing. No, he, so who, who, who he would be the, the choice sort of for the D United? I would look at McInnes. Jockey uh, Scott. Aye. I'll pass. Jockey Scott was one of the, I tell you what, see, Jockey Scott was one of the best fucking coaches I've ever done. Was he? Was he getting that? Oh, see. Nah, he's a good man. He's got a good record, didn't he? he, 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 he a Brewster, man. It needs to be Brewster, man. Striker coach, he was brilliant. Honestly. Charlie Miller and Andy should go get to. Who? Charlie Miller and Andy. McClellan. <laughs> Well, I you would sign for that team in a minute, wouldn't you? You would sign for that team in a fucking bring back, minute. Uh, bring back Big Golak. Even Golak is magic. He wears a magic hat. Bring him back. Uh-huh. And reunite the fire. Would you like to see your big mate go for it? Charlie? I keep trying to push him towards it. Well, I said it the other day and I didn't know, listen, I don't know Charlie's decision whether he wants to keep playing or not, but in the last few years, even when I was at Celtic, when he spoke about football, it was different from most players. He didn't see the game the way players actually seen it. He actually seen it from sort of as a coach's mind almost on the pitch. Mm. Um, and he's always been like talking to him, he's always seen the game that way. So I think he's, you never know when you're ready, but I would say he is. Mm. Um, whether he wants to keep playing or not is completely obviously up to him, but. There's not a better time to get a United job. 
Can't I spoke to him. Time. If you spoke to him, whether he wants to keep I, going. I, th- I think he's. I've told him. I think he's. But I, I don't know, I think he's going to. I, I think, think it's a great time for him. For him. So do I. I think I it is a great time for him. Night the, the one he's obsessed with this. I know. About the, I said to him, I said, would you know fancy like taking that step from player into? And he said, I don't know. And I was like, you ask yourself, where, where is the right time to become a manager? There is no right time. You I think it's when it's all you think about that. It's the right time to do it. I think yeah. when, you, when there's an opportunity arise, you've got to go for it because you might never get that opportunity ever again. Um, listen, the D United, they've been fortunate the game being cancelled as well, so it's gave them more time. But they need somebody in. Liam Fox has obviously steadied the ship um, with a couple of draws, but they need to get somebody in so that they can start like thinking. Well, that about, squad, you can still get done the 84th. Oh, I definitely. Top six, not a problem. Oh, a fuck. great squad. Our third because uh, hearts are not really at it. Uh, yeah. Hearts are struggling, <clears throat> definitely. Hibs have picked up a wee bit. Can I ask you something? Yes. See the thought of being a manager, and you've got all your ideas. How actually different is it? Oh, my! To when different. you go into the job, Miles different. Is so it? The, the, your thoughts on, on what happens on a pitch is probably the last thing that you get to get to do. Do you see Simon? So much the before easiest, that, the easiest part of the easiest part of the job. Oh, the easiest part of the job. Oh, being on the court on the pitch, hundred percent. Easy as it's the other stuff. That's, uh-huh. aye, that's the bit that I always think. How how do you fix that problem or sort that problem? How do you keep him happy? Or mm. eighteen players, kid, eighteen aye. boys that have got things going on in their life that aye. affect you and your team that oh. you need to try and it's so the weird. right way. Do how how do you deal with this situation? That situation. Yeah, it's hard to me. I learned that. I learned that from working in the offshore. I remember I was like the lead steward, so I was like the boss of the the, the stewards. And I remember this boy he was hopeless at work, like really hopeless. And I was went to the boss, he's like, we need to get rid of him. He's he's up with a man down. Mm. And he was like, Kim, we just can't get rid of him. We need to go and speak to him and ask if everyone's okay in the home. And so I had to go away and say, like, Rab, what's happening here, me man? Everyone good at home? Because you're not really and then see once you get to the bottom of somebody and you realise their situation. So That's I was like, I then looked at this boy in a different light and I get every day I would go to him and say, Everyone all right, you man, good. I see within like a few days, mm-hmm. oh, he's what? Right, I, 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 I just thought, you don't know what's going through these people. So you hate to try and you hate to be a people person, you hate to be a. I, 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 I said to him, I said, see if anybody goes against what I say, they'll be out. And then you realise you can't, you can't be like that. I know. You can't be like that, mate. So it's so weird, though. Like you say, you need to talk to people. Yeah, it's good. So we see, for the outside, though, right? Or, or even being or watching a game, you think you can. Do this or do that, right? But it seems to tell the responsibility is actually on you, on you uh, and you're dealing with it. All. You don't see it like that. Yeah, do you know what yeah. I mean? What do you mean, like for yourself on the side of the pitch? Aye. Uh-huh. So people say, why do you not do that? I did it. But when you're 18 players there, or and you, you, you're dealing with a lot of stuff, and you know what's going on, uh-huh. it's not just as easy to say, well, do this and do that. No, no. That's, that hard, will get cut. It's a hard job. <laughs> not at all. Uh, right, Andy, we were going to ask him, disappointed for Hearts last week. I think you, you, I think you were training, did you watch the game, Kev? I watched wee bits of it. I didn't watch it all. Because, the uh, what was it with Hearts poor or was it, some, somebody says to me at M&D yesterday, Hearts fans said the other team were really, really good. The other team were good. The Hearts league did open, didn't they, Kev? Aye, the, heart, the problem I've got with the, the Hearts have got now, they don't have a settled team. They've mm. got too many injuries, they don't have a settled team, half pairing. So they're a wee bit disjoint and I think Andy played so more now. like a... He played more like in the hole. Right, off it, maybe off one of the sides coming inside. I just thought, like, is that Andy's position? And there was other players, it was as if like, they were fitting players in just to have a team that could go out there. So I think the fact that the, a few of their centre-half parents are struggling as well, they don't have a settled team. So there's a wee bit of Tough that for the manager, yeah, right? when you're playing is. against top quality opposition. So Robbie's basically trying to say to players, look, I'm needing you to play this way today. Mm. And it's maybe no the way that player has been playing, so... There's a wee bit of disjointment now with Hearts and how they're performing and how they're picking that it's probably down to injury suspensions and things like that. Um, it's the first game in Europe in terms of the group stages. The, uh, the other, the other, the other, I think the other two teams um, drew 1-1, one, one, I think it was. Right. So it still allows Hearts, if they can get... Still in it. Aye, still in it. So, but I think the team that beat Hearts, that, um, the, the team... They'll be the team that'll probably go in and win. GMS is going to play centre like centre back. Yeah, has to do it. He's going to have to do it. He said he's just going to bash Peter a bit. Ah, see, Scottish clubs are um, financially so behind the rest of Europe. I, mean, I bet you that Turkish team are paying fortunes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think that? I just, I just look at their squad. But Ozil not out there. Oh, um, all right, okay. That's so they'll have, point. and then it's, it's very hard for you, even to like Dundee United. Now it's very difficult. Oh, so sorry, Van Ronka said this last week, and you pulled up for it. No, but what I mean is, you can't use that to players and go, "Well, we're going to make excuses." But for the outside as a pundit, 
we need to back our clubs and it's not you know it's easy to back clubs. We need to, it'd be brilliant to get people guys in here that can do it. But what I'm saying is if I'm a manager, I'm not gonna go like my team. But we are way behind these play, these teams. Uh-huh. Also, do that. Just for a pundit. Uh, from a pundit's tenet. point of view, okay. I, we need to help our teams out because it's very, very difficult. Yeah. But fight, like, fight, <laughs> you're talking about finance here, like, like, that's a bad man, isn't it? That's a fucking bad one, man. It's that bill, it's that bill of the certain players, a lot of money, but they'll be paying everybody fortunes. Oh, so you're coming from his own, then? No, no, I'm not coming from his own. He's struggling, isn't he? No, he's not. Ah, he is. No, he's not. <laughs> he's seen him no arms in a bar. I don't even know where we are. You need to get a scare back. Nah, he's uh, got to my pain, isn't it? He's done you, but he's done us. Uh, they go to Latvia to face RFS. You've, there's a Latvian boy fishing in our shop as well. You've been over there a couple of times. What's that? The RFS? No, I've been to that. I've been to Latvia. Is it Latvia? I've been to Latvia, yeah. Riga. Made nice. Made in Scotland, 21 day. Oh, look, look here you go. Got married in Pahars? Very nice. Pahars, good place. I've been to it. I played against So, give you a wee bit of background <laughs> on Latvia. <laughs> Latvia, I tell you what, what I will say, right, and I like to be honest, sorry Lynn, but the Latvian birds are absolutely 10 out of 10s. Uh-huh. Ah, amazing. Amazing. Why did you look down there, but is London down there doing something to you? <laughs> just, you like sorry Lynn. Amazing, honestly, I just remember arriving in Latvia, Riga, into the hotel, just worldies everywhere. What is that, right? Ah, I just thought, fuck. We might need so, to try and get a couple of, t- couple of tickets for that game. Just a couple. Um, but no, listen... <laughs> I don't really know much about these teams. So how can we talk about RFS? Only RFS I know is DFS and that's our sofa. <laughs> uh, we all know what you did on the sofa. Oh, you're absolutely correct, Sai. So you did you put it on the sofa? Nah, nah. Up the, room? The, the sofa used to be like three stone ago, I could fit on it, but now we're a bit... Uh, it's a hard one, isn't it? It's a hard one, aye. Do you ever do it on the sofa and you're going that, you end up with a 10p up your ass that fell down the back of the sofa? <laughs> usually, it's usually the remote control. <laughs> By choice, you've been up there yourself. <laughs> uh, how snoddy have you been in the dressing room since you've been back? Probably. I mean, uh, How's no, he been? been? He's been brilliant. He's been very right? lively. Very, very lively. Aye. What sort of stuff's he been up to? Just keeps pranking everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Just keeps pranking Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, he will be a good sign and stuff. Uh-huh. It'll be great for him. It was a pity they never got him into that European game because his experience would have been good. Mm-hmm. A good signing. Uh, no, I think it will be a good signing. Be, hopefully. Right, only Andy's bit here with the questions. Uh, Andy loves this bit. Jim Layton loves this bit, didn't he? Me, Jim Layton, I so. Right, Kevin, you, I'll, I'll do the first question. Can you do it in a dark sense, please? No, no. Nathan Doran's question of four. Hey, Who's, Who's the biggest name? Who's the biggest name that has refused to come on the podcast? Or any names you feel you can't ask on because of any previous bad blood? Oh. Well, look, now we got bad blood. There's always one big name we've already talked about now. Uh, Capaldi. Aye, he keeps refusing that. He, he needs to come on pronto. Or he's going to get his head bashed in. He he I'll take his Nicker number one half. Are you big knickers? What other big names <laughs> are you asking? Yeah. I mean, is he going to give the knickers back to your man for the <laughs> Champions League now? My ma said it on, didn't she? Imagine her coming here. Imagine my ma coming here if you work seriously after a hard day, right? And sitting down to watch a podcast and she hears that about herself. That's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> the best way you do that. <laughs> uh, I don't, I would love, there's somebody I, 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 I think is absolutely amazing is Kevin Bridges and it's, uh, I, he's, he's, we, he's kind of fun to do that idea. I met him uh, again before and he said, oh, maybe. And, he, he, and then he what? followed me on Twitter, followed him back and then messaged him and patched it. Bad for your message too early. You went in, yeah, far too keen, uh, far too keen. They were they back in the days when I was keen as fuck. Aye. Um, I remember. But he, he knows his fat boys well, Kevin Bridges, so uh-huh. it, it works. I delivered his house one day for DPD and he answered the door and I thought about, I went, all right, Kevin, and he went, all right, mate, and I just thought about asking him to do that and I got the fucking stumbles done. I couldn't even really get the words out. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. See you after the way I went. But no, he would be a good name. Who else? You, you know other celebrities anyway, Slaney. Who you no, name? not at all. I love that Kevin Bridges on. Um, Kevin Bridges would be good because he's funny. Those Jerry would be good. good. Ah, he'd be the best. He's part of Jerry Cinnamon would be good. He'd be amazing. Have you ever asked him? I, no, I don't think so. That's good, eh? <laughs> ah, no, you just keep saying away from that nonsense, don't you? Or the media stage. Uh-huh. Media stage. But he, he likes his football well, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, who else? Have, any other big names that we've not done? Big names? Alison Hammond. <laughs> <laughs> who did he say? Alison Hammond. <laughs> it's the biggest name you'll find. <laughs> What uh, about, what we could get on? Big Ryland, he's involved with Scottish football. Ryland would be good. Big Ryland. Ryland would be good, take it out of shit. Get Ryland on. I wouldn't mind Ryland. 
Did you know? No, I would. I would. I don't. I think I think he'd be quite good. But is there any other? Uh, if, uh, if you have, I would like Alan Brazil. I think Alan Brazil would be probably on here. Alan Brazil. I've listened to I think you could get loads years. of good stories. Alan, uh, uh, Alan Brazil would be really he'd good. He'd be amazing. Bad blood to anybody who've no ass because you've bad blood chained or. I think so. Wait, Craig and Mitch should come on. I wouldn't say that was bad blood, but I still think that would be good. I think that gen and all series not that could get. A bit tasty between us, uh-huh. yeah, because it did at the hydro, didn't it? No, but like, I mean, series. I don't know because I get absolutely battered at that. But <laughs> but I wouldn't. I wouldn't genuinely hold off on him. Uh-huh, that'd be good. My words only whack you today. No, I'm fighting with him in my gob. It's fine, mate. You've been good. Right. Uh, right. Question for next show is: What player you trained with? Played trained with biggest am- impact on. There's mine. Impact on each of your careers and why? We done this, Sean Maloney. I said. I did it. He was amazing when we talked to me through my injuries, he'd been through the same, stuck up for me against other physios. Or, no stuck up, the physios were good, but I'm just saying as in the feed and he, he became down um, and always looked out for me. And um, What about like... And his hard work side as well. Right. He was always one in first and showed you, if you want to be at Celtic and have a long career at Celtic, this is the work you need to put in mm. for that point of view. What about um, outside of Celtic? Anybody else? No. Huh? I don't think so. Try to think of Miller when I came through. Keith Lasley. Lasley good with you? Mm-hmm, brilliant. But that's about it. Me, oh, I still early. About how about was he good with you? Just to earn on the shoulder all the time. That was it really. What about you? Um, I could see Niall Quinn used to, didn't you? I, 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 kind of, for one thing, but when you're talking about like, yeah. players who you train with, I'd probably say that Kevin Ball, even though I didn't train with him much as a, like, a teammate, just watching how he trained, and how he was in the dressing room and how he was out with the football, like he just made sure that us as a, like, I remember we were all in the youth hostel one day and we were all like bored, stupid, and he came in and he says, right, come on, get in my car and just took us a drive for a bite to eat and stuff. And I thought, he didn't have, he's got his own family with kids, he didn't have to come and do that to us. And just always to respect people, um, train as if it was like your last day because it could just finish like that. Because you're hopeless. Aye. Uh-huh. And they uh, hey, but he just had a good, he's a good, a good work ethic, and mm. I think that's important because sometimes, if you watch the the players that have got all the the flair and the suave and stuff, some that, although they are the big hitters, sometimes they're there because they've got unbelievable talent and they can get away with it. Whereas if you're a young player trying to get to that, you might not have their ability, so don't try and copy the other side of things. I just would I, you I, ever would you ever have a go at you? Or was oh, it always just always next? No, what would you have a go at you? I remember when I was, um, what would that be? 19, passed my driving test, and uh, I thought, fuck, I, 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 I'm going to buy a car. So I went and got a car, and I bought a BMW, and it was really like a, an old BMW 316 compact thing it was. And I've rocked in the BMW, and they fucking came straight out, and went, what's this, you're driving? I says, I just passed my test, I bought a car. She's not the fucking first team yet, you're, you're buying a BMW. It's not a good look, Kevin. And I was like, all right, what do you want me to do, get rid of it? So I, I got rid of it. Did you? Aye, ah, enough. Because he's, no, nah, he's young already for BMW. Probably for him, is that when you went and got the Skoda? That's when I went and got the fucking. Did uh, you get a taxi sign up? Got a red up McGann. <laughs> Did you get a McGann, eh? Red up McGann, aye, and I thought, fucking, it was That's good for him, that's good for you, Quinn, too. Oh, aye, and he put that in his book. Did he? Put that in his book. He put that in his book. I have in his book a couple of times. Put that in his book and said, this is a member of Kevin Kerr driving around with a BMW. I thought he'd made it. I hadn't even fucking kicked the ball in the first team. Wow. And I thought, don't get around, the car was only 10 grand. Back in the day, it was mm. an expensive car, it was second hand. Just the fact that it was like it was a game. Just the fact that That's I'm good for you, I love that for him. Oh, well, that was me putting my place. You're oh. on Haley's book, what did he say? Oh, <laughs> Put me in that page. <laughs> Kevin Ball as well in the car. I remember going to, when the Mini Coopers first came out, uh-huh. I went in, so this is how, I wasn't a big time, but I had a house with two garages. So oh, I thought I'd better get two cars. Double garage? I thought I'd better get, oh, get two cars. So I had an M3. And I thought, I could go and get a, a, a Mini, that'll fill the other driveway. So I went into the thing, I says, right mate, well, give me a black Mini and put black and white squares on the roof. You know, you can get the stickers. Uh, how come so you like that? I don't know, I just thought it would look nice, right? So I drove in, fucking finished training, came ball standing there, you get rid of the car cave. I was like, how? Oh, Newcastle. She says, you can't even come into fucking Sunderland with a black and white car. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, fuck, man, there you can. thick as fuck. Oh, it's thick as fuck. <laughs> so I drove the car straight back to the fucking garage. I says, mate, I can't even leave black and white stickers in the car, so I'll take them off. So he took them off and replaced it with a black and grey Union Jack on the roof. 
and they drove back in the next day, drove back in the next day, and ended up just getting rid of the fucking car. Fucking <laughs> good. Fucking oh hopeless. my god, it's a bit of a six months. Fuck, I've got David Cornley at Portsmouth had a big Is impact. He? Uh, David Cornley has an Irish, David Cornley played in Wimbledon and stuff, Sunderland scored loads of goals. Proper pulled my personality out of his mate. Has he? Uh, he's like, you, you, want to make, you want to make, you kid on, you want to make everyone laugh and joke, but he's like, that's ah, not you, I can tell it's not. Does he? Uh, that was probably by the time I thought, ah, I need to fucking change a wee bit. But then I went to Dundee and met guys who brought that back out of us again. Right. But he was right, mate. Everything that I was doing was for, for show, do you know what I mean? Oh. And he, did you, did you, did you, it, did you, did you, I, I feel like that's what I did as a young player. Uh, I tried to make everybody laugh. You tried to fit in, didn't you? I would be the stupid guy that fucking would go along with things, or yeah. you know, do this, Kev, I will. Uh, and you think back, think, why, why did we do that? Peer uh, pressure, was it? Try to fit in? But he was a bit, he was like, you're a clever, you're a clever boy, why you want to, why you want to do that? I was brilliant for him. Uh, he was really good, David. Me and him got on really well, man. He was going to go for the manager's job. And he, me and him went and watched a game at Southampton and he was kind of, he was another one that first time that made you actually think about Fitmo. Mm -hmm. He's doing that because this, I think he was at Southampton before so he knew Pochettino so he was a big one on like tactics and he would oh, sit yeah. and talk to me about, because I was injured at the time, he was injured and would sit and talk about actual, the game, do you know what I mean? And it was, it was good. Tom was good for me at Dundee as well. Still is now, uh, I know I was a wee bit older when I went there but Tomo could kind of see into you as well. Do you know what I mean? Aye. He could tell you the type of person you, you were on, it, on it, yeah. carrying on So again. would you, on that experience, would you now, looking at your own teammate, your own team, say something like that to one of your boys if you felt Aye, like definitely that? Definitely, that was the name of him. But oh, that is Brock, so Brock is Aye. that person, that yes. is Brock. So Aye. you let Brock get on with that. But if there was somebody that I thought was just doing that to kind of... Fat in or... You pull it aside. Pull it aside, uh -huh. I do it on holiday. It was on holiday with Jack Leach's pals and there was a couple of them that I was like, that isn't you, eh? I used to be that, guys. Done. Aye. But... People are like you anyway. Ah, uh, people Aye. like you anyway, uh, Just be yourself, eh? Uh -huh. uh. Moving on, yeah? Oh, on now, on you. So, message for Jesus Fief. <laughs> Who would you say is the Jesus best... Thief. Goalkeeper you've played with. Oh man, I and uh, uh, Jim, Jim Layton. Uh, He's been brilliant. He was going to be cute, wasn't he? Brilliant. <laughs> Best goalie. Uh, oh, I've got two top goalies. Mate. Fraser Foster for me. Oh, but there you go. Unbelievable. Uh -huh. Does he beat yours? Uh -huh. Good laugh. Not a bonus son. <laughs> very, very born the big man. <laughs> I've told him I was greeting it. Uh, I honestly think that all the goalies I played with were fucking good. Gaze one to. Oh fuck. Boric. Well, I wouldn't count myself playing with him though. Would you? Know? Are you counting yourself playing? So you... I've not played with Foster. Right. What's doing training? Gave somebody else in. Boric was a joke. See when you talk about play, yeah, goalies playing with their feet, left and right foot. That was a bit before. Aye. That was a bit before the time of people like playing them, wasn't it? I'd say goalie wise saving would be Tommy Sorensen. Oh, good goal. Danish, 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 aye, Danish uh -huh. But see, Marion Kelo for shot stopping it hearts. Unbelievable. Was he, huh? I never, I could never understand how he never got a move to a bigger team. Maybe because Marion he wasn't Kill, a right? I wouldn't even oh, have thought him being a great goalie. I tell you, I know the first Hearts player that played in that team to say that about Marion Kell. He was unbelievable. Bainey was good. Scott Bain and Wes Fodderham. Probably Probably. just go Wes. Uh -huh. Would you? Uh -huh. Wes was really good. Wes was really, really good. At <laughs> Bainey, both good boys as well. Bainey was a good laugh at that. Goalkeepers are well with no yeah. the same as Wes. Well, Benny was like, Be Wes was a wee bit weirder, but Benny was like, he, Benny was like one of the outfield boys. He, mm -hmm. Do you know how goalies are usually kind of? Yeah, yeah. Nah, but Benny would be in amongst the boys, he'd like a laugh and a joke and that, didn't he? Doesn't he struggle with the birds, does he, Benny? No, he's always... he's got a bad bird, but he does it. When he was younger, he was 16. Think so. Good we had a thing at Dundee, Paul Hartley used to put up your training schedule every day on the big screen. So you walk in the dressing room, there'd be a big fucking massive screen with a laptop and uh, the training schedule for the week. And he'd come in and obviously explain what you're doing. He's came in one day and Benny's changed it to put, he went on the laptop and put a porno on. And Paul, oh, I've yeah. never seen Paul Hartley's face like this, mate. Cousin. I'm sorry, chatting. I can't remember if it was a porno or just a big picture of a cock, but I've never seen a porno in my panic so much against someone off a big screen, man. Brilliant. Is that done? Oh, Darcy T. Oh, Darcy T. This is a bit of a hang, isn't it? So she says, fucking This is not, Darcy's the guy. Darcy's the man. We've had a man. Slaney on Instagram message coming your way. Did Eddie have been there? What did he say? No, she sent me one first. Oh, she? No way. Swear to God, aye. What did I see her? She keen? Aye, she's up for it. Right. <laughs> nah, I know they do a, a brilliant couple, aren't they? We're going to get them, we'll get them on a show band time, just to sit and watch us. You should, you could do like a dating show. Aye, we need to. Remember your... Uh -huh. That went well, eh? 
Look at what you could have won. <laughs> I'm a big I, I was surprised in that actually, right? For just us three morons. It was actually. It felt very, it felt very like back in the day, wasn't it? A wee bit like back in the day, wasn't it? Feel like greeting. I feel like greeting after that performance I've just put in. We're sitting in an office now. I see, sent me that. Um, well done, lads. That was good. Oh, well done, boys.